talk about one of my favourite subjects. Flies. It's something nobody talks about when you're out on your e-bike and you're riding around and you're swallowing flies. Big ones, small ones. Bane of my life. I have thought about wearing a face mask when I'm out riding my bike, but it sort of defeats one of the objects of being out on a push bike. Most people think you've got something to hide when you're riding a he bike, so he bike, he bike. Um, yeah, I ate flies nearly as much as I ate taxi drivers. Taxi drivers, they are the worst. They pull out on you, they don't care. I've hit two. Um, and they just don't seem to care. They care when you hit the car and you damage it because they won't reckon that hence, but it's a bit of tough shit when they cause an accident. I've offered to call the police before, but they don't seem bothered about that. They just want some money for the damage to their car doors. Oh, just learn to drive, really. So today's moan is flies and taxi drivers. And let's get on to my other niggle today while I'm at it. E-bike range. Claims by the manufacturers, what you can actually get. Quality of sales. So I've got a 20 amp hour Samsung built battery in here that I had specially built for this bike. And I've also got a 17 and a half amp one that I carry in my backpack if I'm going to do some range. So in total, I'm a 250 pound dude and the most I've ever got out of it is pretty much the two batteries leaving 10% in each cell down to around about 70 to 75 miles which isn't bad but that's 37 and a half amp hour of battery so the, the claims that these e-bike companies tend to make are based on what I can make out is a Cambodian on a serious diet cycling probably on eco mode on this at level one you know in real terms i should be getting 150 to 160 miles out of this but obviously my weight is a factor the hills that i ride on are a factor they should have some sort of scale on the on the website saying what you're likely to get out of your e-bike due to weight, range, tolerance and whatever else, but mainly weight. Weight's probably one of the, weight and hills are probably the biggest killers of range on any e-bike. And it wouldn't be a bad thing if these people were just kind of honest about what range you're likely to get on your e-bike. The only one that I've seen that says that it can do so far is probably that Anioki. I mean, that's a 60 amp hour battery. In people are probably getting more than 100 miles just out of throttle alone on it most of the reviewers manage to get 100 miles out of it if you go on tail happy tv um trail happy tv is it tail happy or trail happy you'll see over two days he pretty much got 90 miles and he weighs 200 pounds so he's probably one of the heavier reviewers out there and he's probably one of the more honest ones as well he doesn't mess about and he's somebody I've been following for a while. So when it comes to range, I take anything a manufacturer says about range with a pinch of salt. You know, the miracles that people seem to be doing defying physics with 14 amp hour batteries with 20 before tires on. It's ludicrous. Anyway, that's my moan for the day. Have a nice day, everyone.